we're in for a big paddle today. Here we are, end of Okanagan Lake, most northern point. Here's my boy Carson. He's gonna see me off, take some photos. Taking the old alpaca and pack raft mule, burning to Penticton, or the most northern point to Penticton. So should be in for around a 24 hour rip and got a few Hornby bars and let's get after it. Seven thirty in the morning, just hit a quick sneak entrance. All these houses are private property trespassing, so hit a quick sneak through a backyard and off we go. 106 kilometers that way to Penticton. Hell yeah. Hours in, tape on the hand so you don't blister. I got the drone up. Saw some cows. How are you, boys? Those flags ain't blowing the way we want them to. Hopefully, it swip swaps and takes me the right way. Found myself a tennis ball. Little doggy must be missing it. Go fetch. These big boats are always here. This big one here. And this big one here. First. Oh, banana of the day. That's a treat. Uh, right there, the airplane, that would be the quickest way to Penticton. There's so many crosses back and forth because it zigs and zags. So to get the best, most direct route, you kind of got to cross the open water bunch. I'm in the middle now, heading for those trees, but stop for my Hornby bar, a little snack. I love the classic Coral's watch tan line. There's the watch. There's the tan line we got running today. I was hoping to be done within 24 hours and right now I'm just a quarter of the way. The pack raft I'm on because it's like wide and kind of square. It doesn't cut through the water like a kayak does. So I'm only going like three, maybe four kilometers an hour. Whereas on a kayak, it'd be anywhere from four to six. Looks like we got another 24 hours. Hopefully we'll finish this time tomorrow. One of the most important tools in the arsenal, the spork hot peanut butter. Yikes. This here island is known around these parts as bird island. It's called bird island because there's a lot of bird on it. Now you know. How are you now, bird? How are you? Rolling that way and she's just glass, smooth sailing. Right over there is the bridge, you can't see her yet. We getting to her late tonight. Well, this is exactly what we don't want. Wind's pushing me the wrong way. Try and go this way, they're pushing me this way. It's about to be nighttime. Oh gosh, we're in for it tonight. This is what I live for, baby, let's go! Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I thought I could just ride it to the point, and oh my gosh, man. That was the strongest winds I've ever felt on, a, on the water. I had to go completely, like three kilometers in this way, it took like an hour and a half of everything I had. And this little shelter bay. I know. I might just stick to the shore for a bit. 
Oh my gosh. That's good stuff though. <laughs> Makes you feel alive, no coffee needed. Need to bring out my baler. the damn bridge it was supposed to be 56 kilometers which is just over half then the second half 50k that was 61 and a half k an extra five and a half k with all that nonsense of the waves and going in and out and backwards i was guessing it would take me around 24 hours to do this 19 hours in i'm just over half but there's the damn bridge can't take that away from me let's do the second half baby let's go Oh, at the bridge now 50k into the darkness bye bridge that way first sun now am I tired though holy Thank goodness the sun came out. That was a dark night, physically and mentally. Whew. Pretty nice to hop in that thing and just arrive at Penticton. Maybe even skydiving. Because paddling does not sound great right now. Here in 23 hours right now. Gotta cross all the way over that way. 10K crossing and then you go around the bend and then you gotta cross back over again. This here island is known as Rattlesnake Island. I'm sure they call it Rattlesnake Island because it has something to do with rattlesnakes. Final stretch into Penticton, 30 kilometers long. All the way in straight. Whee! Wavy one. That's the end of the lake. Eight kilometers away, and this will probably be one of the most like mentally tough parts because it's just like, there's the end, it's right there. You're done, but you're still like two hours away basically. So it's just like the discipline to stay in the mindset for the last couple hours, but right there. Oh my gosh, man, almost there. We are one kilometer away. <laughs> Finish it was 39 hours, 34 minutes total, 113 kilometers total. The lake's only 106, but I had a few extra added on with all those waves and troubles I had, but for those of you that know me, this is like a super surreal moment for me because the past two years of my life, I've been trying to do this exact same route, but swimming and both times I've been injured about halfway through and had to stop. So finally completing this 100% solo, 100% unsupported and like getting that all mentally in my brain is a huge accomplishment and hopefully it uh, sets up a future attempt for the swim that'll uh, go according to plan. So thanks for watching. I'm going to try and stand up and uh, get some rest, keep an awesome bad. Uh -huh.